Hey guys, Tanya Bryson here, and as you guys know, I'm a long-term investor, which basically means whenever I buy an investment or I invest into an app or whatever it is, I plan to hold on for a minimum of five to 10 to 15 to forever, unless something changes, and then I have to go ahead and sell my investments. Now, back in 2018, I made a commitment. I was going to be a long-term investor for a very long time with a certain app that I actually found. But today, only almost like two years later, well, I'm actually going to sell all of my investments that I actually have with the app, and I'm gonna tell you why in this video. Now, this is not something I actually wanted to do, but in reality, something I was actually forced to do because what actually happened with the entire platform. And today, I'm going to break down all the details and show you guys as I go ahead and sell all of my investments in that platform right there. And by the way, if you guys are new here, I post videos every single day, so make sure to also subscribe and hit the bell to get notified on top of also destroying the like button. And by the way, it's not a good feeling when you basically commit to something and because of someone else, you kind of go ahead and say, well, now I have to switch everything over. But in reality, I'm not a victim. I should have known something like this might happen and I should have prepared for it just in case. But I think I just thought way too much of the entire company and I'll break everything down right here, okay? Well, the company I invested with is actually called Acorns. Now, here is everything that I loved about Acorns and why I invested with them and not the other five companies I actually saw at the time. Now, at the time, it was December of 2018. Now, if you guys remember this time, everyone was going crazy about high yield savings and also a bunch of different apps when it came to investments. You had Acorns, you had Robinhood, M1 Finance, you had the Stash App, you had Q Capital, you had SoFi Invest, all these new platforms are basically coming up every single three months or so, and they were all startups, okay? But in reality, the one that caught my attention the most, again, was Acorns. Now, Tommy, what did you like about this app so much? Well, in reality, it had a great portfolio balanced out with ETFs according to who you want to be in the future, basically your risk, right? Your risk tolerance and how you want to sleep at night. And I really like that. On top of that, the entire idea was, hey, you don't need that much money to get started investing. So I started out with $5, okay? That's how much I started out with. And today I have around $130,000, $240,000 invested into the stock market. But again, I just got started with that $5 and it was basically a very easy entry point. And on top of that, that's not all. Every single time I went out there and spent money, automatically, Acorns would round up and invest that money. So in reality, every time I spent money, I was basically also at the same time, unconsciously also investing. Now, because of all of those reasons right there, I loved Acorns and I thought I was gonna be together with them for like the next 15 to 20 to 30 years in this long-term relationship. And because of that also, I told you guys, over a thousand of you actually joined Acorns because of me. And I told you guys, hey, this is what I use. Here's why I like it so much. And you guys went over there, flooded everything up, and basically started investing with them also. But then something happened. Something that I didn't like actually happened. And I uploaded a video saying, hey guys, I'm actually gonna stop using Acorns. Now tell me, what actually happened? Can you break it down for me? Well, the answer is that my initial idea was guys, basically, if I'm going to invest with this company, I know for a fact over the long run, things are gonna be up, things are gonna be down, but I'm still going to hold on because in the end, all I'm doing is basically investing for the long term. And the long term is not gonna be perfect. No, the long term is going to look like this. You're gonna have ups, downs, ups, downs, ups, downs, and I was ready for that. Now, here's what happened guys, okay? I committed $500 every single month in Acorns. So every month I invested $500. Now when the pandemic hit, your boy went ahead and said, hey, everything is red right now. Well, it sounds like a sell to me. I'm going to go ahead and invest a lot more money into the stock market. So what app did I go to back? I went to Acorns. I invested 10K one week, 10K the next week for a total of around $20,000, maybe just a little bit more. I don't really recall. But the point is I invested a lot of money during the lowest part of the market, okay? I got very lucky with that. But the point is the more I went down, the more I invested. I knew for a fact, hey, 
over time, this part right here of the entire history is going to benefit me a ton. You wanna buy low and you wanna hold on, right? That's the entire point of the stock market. Now, when I did this, a lot of you guys also went ahead and did the exact same thing because basically I told you, hey guys, here is what I'm doing and here's why this is actually a good idea. Now, once the pandemic actually happened past March, past um, April, and then finally past May, in reality, you guys start to see basically your portfolios we're up between 15 to 19 to sometimes even 20% or so because basically we bought at the lowest point in the market. However, Acorns out of nowhere, the set of sent emails, I didn't really see them. I thought it was going to be like maybe more public, but in reality, Acorns in August decided to say, hey, we're going to go ahead and sell all of your investments and replace them with BlackRock investments. Now, meaning for example, before that, all of our investments were basically with Vanguard, most of them, around like four were Vanguard, and then maybe two or one were actually with BlackRock. But now they said, hey, well, now because of everything that's actually going on today, is the perfect time to go ahead and sell those investments and basically convert them into BlackRock investments. Now, I didn't know why they did this, and by the way, this is all allegedly, I don't wanna get sued, but the point is that basically, I found out that BlackRock has a big stake in acorns so it makes sense to why they would want acorns to flip things around into blackrock investments and by the way blackrock is an excellent company high high tier but i did not like that and here's why because by doing that they sold around 50 percent of my portfolio and guess what i was making money tommy that's great you're gonna make more money now right now the answer is no that's not the point when you're a long-term investment, the last thing you want to do is sell your investment because basically now you're going to get hit with a massive tax bill because now I have something called capital gains on my investments, which basically means now out of nowhere, the long-term investor Tommy that doesn't want to sell allow the company the power and the permission to go out there and sell his investments without him really knowing that well. And now I have a massive tax bill that's going to be on the way. Now, Tommy, what exactly does this mean? Well, in reality, the average person is going to have a loss in their portfolio, right? Maybe the loss may be like 300 or 1,000 or 2,000, which basically means at the end of the year with their taxes, they can go ahead and deduct that from their taxes up to 3K and boom, they also save money. But for us long-term investors, if we had to gain our portfolio, well, now we have to pay taxes because basically we were actually making money and doing things the correct way. When the market is down, we buy more. When it's up, we keep investing. Yes, 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 yes. We got the average. But when it's down, that's when we go ahead and invest the bulk of our money. Now, because I gave Acorns permission, 100% my fault, honestly, the answer is they had the permission to go out there and switch this around. And now I'm left with a massive tax bill. But again, guys, like I told you, okay, I'm not the victim, okay? I'm at fault. It's my fault, 100% my fault. So the answer is probably now, Tommy, well, what's next? And what are you actually going to do? Well, I went ahead and I went on M1 Finance and I recreated the exact portfolio I had before in Acorns. The original one for Moderately Aggressive. If you want the portfolio, link down below to my M1 Finance portfolio. And that way, if you want to invest with M1 Finance, you can go ahead and invest with M1 Finance. I'm telling why invest with M1 Finance? Aren't you scared the same thing might happen again? Will they sell your investments? The answer is no. They legally do not have the permission to go ahead and sell the portfolio unless I go ahead and tell them, hey, I want to sell this and sell this and sell this. So this way now, I have the freedom to basically say, for example, hey, I want to invest here and I don't ever want this to change no matter what because, again, I'm going to be investing for the long term. On top of that, the only investment that was left basically with Acorns was the Vanguard VOO or, for example, the S&P 500 investment. So that was the only ETF left with them. I grabbed that money and I transferred it over to SoFi Invest. And I'll tell you why exactly, okay? By the way, this right here on this screen is my SoFi Invest platform. And in reality, as you guys can see right here, I run $36,000 a year, but here are my investments. In VOO right here, I transferred this over from Acorns, which basically means this transfer did not cost me any money. There is no tax attached to it because basically I just transferred my ETF from one place to the next place. I did not sell it. So in reality, there is no tax on it. And now, now that it's here, SoFi is going to go ahead and cover the $75 fee that, well, $50 fee 
that Acorns is going to charge me. That way, I did it for free. Now, what exactly am I going to do? Well, the answer is, again, guys, okay, here is my M1 Finance portfolio. And right now, it's actually negative because basically, the market is negative right now. So basically, I'm going to go ahead and buy more and buy more and buy more. Again, I'm in it for the long term. But the main idea is this. I'm going to transfer that ETF from SoFi Money over now to my M1 Finance portfolio. That way, my main portfolio is right here in one place and I can control everything that actually goes on. SoFi Invest, I'm going to use it to buy individual stocks here and there. Also, Robinhood, individual stocks here and there. But as far as my real portfolio, is going to be right here with M1 Finance, okay? And that's the goal. Now, I want to show you exactly the amount of money I have left with Acorns. Because again, I still have money left with Acorns because I haven't yet sold anything until I saw the transfer actually happen today. And here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go here. I'm going to click withdraw. And basically, I'm going to withdraw the money I actually have with them. Now, guys, honestly, it's not something that I actually wanted to do at all, right? My goal was, hey, I invest with them, I hold on forever, over time money grows, and in reality, I don't think the new portfolio is bad. What I don't like is that basically, they made the switch, and either way, even if I liked it or didn't like it, they had permission to do it, so now I'm left with this massive tax bill, and in the future, let's say I have a million dollars in there, or two million, or three million, or five million dollars, what if they did this again? Now I'm left with this massive tax bill, right? A massive one. And that could be a whole different problem that I don't even want to get into. So I guess, hey, right now is the best time to get out because right now I don't have necessarily that big of an amount of money in there. So here you go, okay? I'm going to click got it, which means that basically all my money is going to be withdraw from Acorns. But tell me, doesn't it mean you're going to be taxing it? The answer is no. All the money that's left in here is ready from the transfer they actually did. So all this money, either way, was still going to be taxed. I'm not gonna get taxed twice because of it, okay? And that's why I'm going to do it. And by the way, here it is, just so you guys can see. And I'm gonna click, for example, got it. And withdraw. And it's going to go to my JP Morgan Chase, and it should take between three to six business days. Nothing that I ever actually wanted to do. Please note, when withdrawal is requested for more than 95% of your account, we withdraw the entire account balance to account for the market. Okay, 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 great. So they withdraw everything. Continue, yes. Continue. Yes. Thank you. So there you go, guys. Okay. So officially, I have no money left whatsoever when it comes in Acorns. Now, Tommy, why exactly do you still have an Acorns link down below, right below the like button, and also right below the M1 Finance link? What the answer is, guys, that if you are a long-term investor like I am, and you invest the way I invest because you know exactly what you're doing, the answer is Acorns is probably not going to be the best app for you. But if all you want to do is invest, forget about it, let them do everything. Well, in reality, Acorns is still a pretty good place to actually go to. And by the way, I am a big fan of the new, for example, they have the invest feature, they have the later feature with the Roth IRA or traditional IRA. Those have the spend card where you actually have a debit card. I think that's too expensive, by the way. And those have the early for kids. We can actually go ahead and invest with your kids, kind of like a custodial account or, for example, like a 529 account, something like that. But the answer is, it's great, right? They have a lot of features coming out and it's awesome. And they also even have a feature now where they actually go ahead and help you actually find a job, right? And to me, that's great stuff, great innovation. But if what you want is control, longevity, and control, again, to control twice, the answer is it's probably not gonna be the app for you. But I still recommend it if you actually want it. And if it sounds like something you actually want where a company controls your money and makes sales whenever they want according to if they think it's in your benefit. And that's the whole goal, right? Because they also have to act in your benefit. I just didn't like it whatsoever. And that's why I'm moving over again to M1 Finance. And by the way, if you want to do exactly what I'm doing today, transferring over from Acorns to M1 Finance, the answer is you just can't do it because basically M1 Finance does not take Acorns investments. You have to basically go from SoFi Invest and request one ETF at a time. That way, SoFi covers the fee every single time. And that way you can transfer over from SoFi, everything's in SoFi, then you transfer it over to M1 Finance, and that's going to be basically almost for free. Or maybe like a one-time $75 fee, and that's it. But by the way, 
Acorn also charges $50 per ETF. And guess how much ETF I have, okay? I have around six ETFs. So times six, that's around $300 to transfer over. So that's what you wanna do one ETF at a time. And then SoFi covers the fee every single time. And that way you don't waste all your money just trying to transfer your investments over. Another thing I was also not a big fan of. Very easy to get into it but almost very hard to actually get out of it, okay? But guys, comment down below and let me know what platform do you currently invest with right now? Let me know, comment down below. And by the way, also, I like that with M1 Finance, although I'll probably never use this feature, I can basically go into borrow, and I can borrow $20,000 of my portfolio only for 3.5%, okay? Which is pretty cool. I never will do it, most likely, but it's cool to have a feature where I can borrow money if I actually want to and do extra stuff if I actually wanted to, okay? It gives you a lot more freedom, which is also very important to me. But overall, guys, that's about it for this video. Kind of disappointed. I didn't want to ever make this video in my whole life, but it happened, so there you go. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, well, like the video on top of also, subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified. And before I go, if you wanna text me or call me, search my Patreon, link down below, or send me a DM on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. And before I go, if you wanna see exactly how I invest with Amon Finance now, here's the video right here. I'm Cliff see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and as always, peace.